I got my fiance shirt on so you know what that means. It's another wedding video and I am so excited to break some very important news to you guys. My dog is scratching her neck very loudly. She just had surgery. Back to the important news. I found my wedding dress and I'm so excited. I can't believe I'm saying this. I found my wedding dress. Every little girl wants to say those words and here I am saying those words at 25 years old. Did I imagine my life gonna, was gonna look like this? No. Am I happy? Yes. I want to tell you guys about my wedding dress shopping experience and it was it was a lot more challenging than I thought it was going to be. I went to two different stores. I went to Beholden from Anthropology. I went to a local bridal shop in my hometown. And that's actually where I found my wedding dress. Both dresses were very, very similar. And I went with the second store because I felt like if I had to get married tomorrow, it fit my body so perfectly. And it was so beautiful. I just felt really comfortable in it. The other one, I felt like, man, you gotta, you need to really work out to make this look good. And yes, I, I'm definitely going to work out and eat really healthy. I also don't want that stress either. I want it to happen organically. And if it, if it happens to where I get to the certain weight that I want to, great. If not, then I don't want to be stressing that I don't feel beautiful on my wedding day. So that second dress just makes me feel a lot more comfortable that I look good in it now and I, I know for sure I'm going to be looking good in, in it next year. I want to show you a few, few videos that I took while I was wedding dress shopping. I'm going wedding dress shopping! <laughs> Hi. Hi. We're going to find the dress today. Hopefully, Maybe fingers crossed we find a dress. Here we go. We're all here. Let's go wedding dress shopping. <laughs> Pick out your wedding dress. Pick out our wedding dress. Here we go. I think we need that. one's not yours though. I know, but it's fun to try on different things. Mm -hmm. I think no, this is a, a separate combination. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a top and I'll show you that. Kaylee, do you like this one? This one's different. Yeah, but that's a little too um, okay. That's like going out. Going yeah. out on the town. Yeah. I'm going out on the town. Right. I want to get married, you know? Right, Hi. Hi. Oh, my Kaylee. So All happy right. for you. So beautiful. Um, let's see what my, my mama's doing. Which ones do you like, mama? I don't know. <laughs> I think this is pretty. It is pretty. It's very simple. Yeah. Nice train. Yeah, which one's your baby? Oh, I love my baby. I'm so grateful that my friends and family went with me. It's something I will always remember and cherish forever. I actually, I was a lot more surprised that I loved a certain kind of dress than I thought I would going into it. I had in mind, because I kept pinning the same kind of dress over and over again, so I thought for sure that that is just exactly what I would want to go with. I wouldn't question it. And it was ideally what I ended up going with. But the other dresses, which were the more Cinderella ball gown dresses, I absolutely loved on me. And I wasn't expecting that. But I had to keep in mind that I'm, I'm having more of a summer wedding. And that just wasn't a realistic gown for me. All the dresses are going to look beautiful on you. If you're a bride, it's hard to choose because you like them all and there's so many different styles and you can go so many different ways but you have to base it off of your venue and what time of year you're getting married so for me it just wasn't smart it was way too hot if I was having a winter or fall wedding it would have been great but I'm not planning to sweat that much during my wedding <laughs> hopefully not so I wanted to avoid that if I could and I ended up just finding the dress that I love so much I didn't cry I I thought I'd be a lot more emotional but I wasn't and that's okay because I know I really love the dress I keep going back to my phone and looking at the photos and getting really excited about it I can't wait to see it finally all done with my hair and my makeup and my jewelry my nails done I'm just very excited I can't wait to see what Ryan thinks of it Ryan's sitting there in the corner do you think you're gonna give me a big expression? He said, yeah, a big smile. <laughs> All right, so if I get that big jaw smile, I know it's good. Jaw dropping. Ooh, jaw dropping. So I got my wedding dress. That's a check mark off my list. I also got my wedding cake topper already. That's another check mark off my list. I got my officiant check mark. I asked 
all of my bridesmaids, and when I say all of my bridesmaids, I mean 10 bridesmaids. I wanted them to be a part of my big wedding day and they all said yes. I'm so excited because each one of them, they really mean so much to me. They have been with me since I was a kid or um, like Brandy, who is my near and dear closest friend. I met her in college, but I felt like I've known her forever and she has been a part of Ryan and I's journey and so have all the other girls. So I really, I'm really excited that they all see it, said yes and they want to be a part of our special day because it's gonna just make it that much more fun and then for all of my other girlfriends I am going to make sure that they are a part of everything that we can do that is besides the wedding so I want them to be a part of it the bachelorette party the bridal shower I'm thinking about even having them there when we get um, ready for the day of just to have them around because they mean so much to me so we'll see I don't know how Big, the venue part is gonna be so I don't know if there's gonna be space but I'm gonna try fingers crossed um, so I'm super excited about that so the next thing I have to do for them is get them their dresses I don't I don't know what they're gonna be yet I have the idea of how I want them to look and I have the color that I want them to go with but I haven't found the designer that I want them to choose from yet so we'll see that I mean, it's a little premature, but I have an idea, which is nice. I don't have a caterer yet, so that's been a little bit of an issue because if I don't have a caterer, I'm not sure how much it's going to cost per person, which kind of determines how many people I'm going to invite. Um, I'm hoping that I can narrow that down pretty soon. Next month, I'm going to actually visit my venue, which I'm so excited about. And then I'm going to go cake tasting with Ryan in December when we're both home and we're gonna try out different flavors. I'm very excited because I kind of want something different, not super standard, like vanilla, boring, or chocolate. Love chocolate, but boring. We're gonna have a dessert bar. It's gonna be a medium-sized cake because we don't love cake, um, but we wanna have a bunch of our favorite desserts that represent us, so I'm really excited about that as well. We're actually gonna make them a couple of days before the wedding. We're gonna make a bunch of like chocolate chip cookies. I don't wanna say what's all gonna be there, but we're gonna make them before and then set them out because I am such a baker. I love baking, so that'd be a little, a little trinket of who I am as a person, and Ryan loves my baked goods, so there'll be lots of sweets. I saw online that someone wrote that they found a perfume for their wedding and I was like, what does that mean? They found a perfume for their wedding. Well, they explained that they got a specific perfume to only wear on their wedding day. So they bought it and they haven't worn it at all and they're only gonna wear it on their wedding day so that every time they wear it afterwards, it reminds them of that special day. And I thought that was a really sweet idea and I just, I wanted to do the same thing. So I went to Sephora the other day and I was trying on all the different perfumes. I was like, oh gosh, I don't like any of these. And then I rolled on one and it just, in my mind, it clicked. I was like, this is what I want to wear on my wedding day. I'm gonna smell great. We also have to get the groomsmen's outfits together. I have an idea of what I want them to wear. So that is in the future. Me, Ryan the officiant have to meet up and discuss what we want our wedding ceremony to look like, how religious we want it, what we want to be said, who we want to have come up and talk, if we want anyone to come up and say any scriptures or verses or any poems or anything like that. So that is something I suggest you guys do because you want to start planning in advance for that um, so that you can slowly tweak it as the months go by and make sure by the time that your wedding's here, you you have exactly what your ceremony wants to look like. Ryan has yet to ask his groomsmen to be the, his groomsmen, but I think they all pretty much know who they are, so. <laughs> um, what else do we have to do? I have been looking at what kind of save the dates and invitations I want, and I'm really excited about my save the dates. They're gonna be very, very cool. Ryan and I um, have been dating for a very long time, as you guys may know. So the save the dates are going to perfectly represent that, and that's all I'm gonna say. And they're going to be hand illustrated. I'm pumped. As for the playlist, 
Every time I hear a song on the radio that I love or I just recently was at a couple of weddings and I could just tell that everyone got on the dance floor for that certain song, I've been keeping in my phone on the notes section a whole list of all the songs that I can think of so that when it comes time to compiling the playlist, I have a lot of options to go through because I want my wedding to be a dance party. I want everybody dancing. If I'm gonna pay for a DJ, everyone has to be out there dancing or at the photo booth. I mean, we're not gonna just be sitting around looking at our cell phones here. We're gonna be moving and grooving. So I need a epic playlist and the, well, the problem is is that I like certain music and maybe not everyone else likes certain music like my cousin's wedding She didn't want like any 90s music played and I love 90s music So a lot of NSYNC and Spice Girls for me, please. Right, Ryan? Alright guys, well I think this is gonna wrap up this video. I want to keep it a little bit short and sweet because I have a lot of wedding planning videos ahead of me. I want everyone to feel like they're a part of the journey because a lot of you guys are my family and friends who are watching. This is why it's called Keeping Up With Kaylee because I have a lot of things to update you guys on which is very exciting. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up so I know to continue to make these more of these. Actually, I'm going to make them anyways if you don't give it a thumbs up. So give me a comment or subscribe to my channel if you like it just to show me that you're watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!